Hey, Dan Fitzpatrick here, StockMarketMentor.com. I want to look at Tesla uh, real quick today. And this is why. This stock could be, it may be um, consolidating to a point where it will give you uh, a good trade. I don't really see it here yet, but let me frame this for you. So the stock breaks out here in anticipation of earnings, right? And the stock split, the stock split right here. Uh, on Monday the 31st uh, and then it kind of fell off a little bit and then what happened on Friday after the close um, S&P announced their changes and Tesla wasn't in the press release so you know the stock gapped down so this was the oh crap it's not being added to the S&P 500 that was the catalyst that prompted the stock to go down but since that time the stock's been holding up and I've seen I don't really follow this company from a like from an even I look at the stock but I don't really know that much about what's going on but apparent and I have read a little bit though battery day that's like the big deal is battery day on September 22nd which is a week from Tuesday and um, Tesla is supposed to it's kind of like expected that they're going to unveil um, a new battery that can go a maximum like that has a, a top uh, a, a capacity of a million miles in other words it can go a million miles before it before it wears out and has to be disposed of if only they had a battery that could go a million miles without having to be recharged I would totally be in um, but it's just a, a with that kind of a wear life so essentially way beyond what you would be driving the car um, for and I, as I understand it, I think their battery life now is around 500,000. I could be wrong on that, um, but anyway, so that could be a big deal. the The problem that I'm seeing with that is, I don't really follow Tesla as a company. I don't really follow the Tesla events, and yet if I know about this, then don't you think other people do as well? Like quite a few other people. And so if you're thinking like, oh, Dan's giving me this cutting edge news that, oh, now I know. There's nothing cutting edge. There's nothing new about this. It might be new to you. It was new to me, but it's not new to the market. So the point is that you don't have an edge by knowing something that other people don't. You have an edge by understanding, first of all, maybe all of this stuff is baked in. Um, whatever I don't know you know I don't it's all their their announcements are always really dicey you just kind of never know what's going to happen but the bottom line is maybe already knows everybody already knows they um, there's an initial spurt higher where the stock is bought and then people come back to saying like eh, well I question the demand for the cars so and then they sell we just don't know what I'm telling you is over the next week starting next week if you're a swing trader if you're an active trader watch how this stock goes because if it runs up above 400 bucks again I'm talking Monday or Tuesday if it runs up above 400 bucks we could see you know a pretty good run up in this stock before the 22nd so don't expect this stock just to meander and float for the next week and a half uh, while the market waits to hear what's going to happen. Um, traders are taking positions in this stock and I think next week could be your trade if you're active. It could be your trade to take advantage of some pre-battery buying. At least that's the way I see it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.